people's family and lurkers and everybody else that's there. We're getting ready for Christmas. We got a little decoration going. Uh, tomorrow will be Christmas Eve. And we have our update for today. Um, and here she is. Let me keep this here because I am going to wind up giving her a little water. She is a little light. Let's see if I got her nicely in frame. Now we got curvy stem again still again same reason it's the lights a little off center and so it's reaching for it because it's low um, a little stretchy not too bad it's gonna stay like this for a while it's gonna look like nothing's going on with it while these roots are developing now the soil as you can see is kind of dry on top I gotta dig down a little bit before you even find some dark color and even that's um, not really all that wet it's really kind of light it's got a little bit of weight to it so I'm just going to give it a little bit of water today again. Bottled clean water. Doesn't take much at this point. Just a little bit around the top. Okay, now that might run through. I'll let it soak back up. It'll be taken care of. Other thing, I was going to talk about my nutrients today. I was going to talk about some light choices. And it turns out that I'm talking about bug control because I had... Um, Gray flies. I think they're called gray flies. Doesn't matter what they're called. I'm not getting personal. It's just business. I'm going to whack them. Um, I've tried, I don't know, five or six different things before I came across one that worked because I had the same problem last year in the dirt is I had the gray flies and they um, plant their larva down in the soil. And sometimes when you buy soil, the larva is already in there. Um, and it, been a problem and a lot of people get it and it happens and I've been told all sorts of different crazy things to get rid of it but, but this is the only thing that works sand get some playground sand box of it I use this is just regular sand nothing crazy add some sand on top let me get a better cup here instead of just using my hand. Let's see here. Now the sand is not going to hurt the soil. The sand is not going to hurt the plant. The sand is going to make it so that the flies, while they're down in the soil and hatching, can't come up. They can't lift the soil, it's too, uh, the sand, it's too big, it's too heavy for them. And also the sand will hold in moisture and uh, actually kind of help a little bit, just putting a top cap on it like that. Boom, that's it. Your gray flies are done, you won't see them again. Um, you might see one or two flying around, but you gotta do this to every plant in your grow room. You gotta do this to everyone. You see them one, they're all gonna get it. Stop it before it happens. Cover your plants with um, sand. If you have um, the gray flies, the little guys, you'll see them. They look little tiny gnats floating around. They're actually, if you look at them closely, they look like little tiny moths. Um, and you'll see them crawling around on top of your soil and floating around your, your room. They were in my carrots. That's the one that had it. So the carrots are covered. Um, the clones are covered. Um, this is covered. And I'm going to cover the potatoes when I get in there tonight. Uh, but I haven't got in there. And that's it. I'm not going to have a problem with it. This is what's going to happen. Um, I'm going to take some clippings later on when the um, uh, grow room opens up. I have, um, oh, I got to do a flush and fill tonight. I got to do a flush and fill tonight. And you know what? I might um, go ahead and record that. And while I'm doing that is when I'll go over what nutrients I use in my hydroponic system. Uh, and that'll give you an idea of what you're looking at. Uh, I'll let you know what's extra, what's required, uh, how I do it. I'm kind of out of pH up right now, so I'm going to have to compensate and try to use maybe a little extra silicone and bring that pH up um, because the other stuff will bring the pH down, and I'll go over all that with you when I get out there. Um, I've been trying to do um, uh, the clones, too. They got covered um, with this. Let me see what else. I got a... Um, I'm going to try to build a little simulated closet here in the corner so that you can see what this would look like in a closet grow. Um, how you would do that, how you would have a little scrog. I'm going to um, then take some clones, some clippings, 
and I'm going to make some clones. I'm going to make one in um, the Rockwell cube that we've talked about. I'm going to make one in the Root Riot cubes, which are right, right here. Oh, that's not them. Anyhow, they're not in my reach with the Root Riot peat moss cubes. And I'm going to do one directly in hydroponics in a little one gallon bucket. And you'll see how a bubble um, uh, cloner works. Bubble cloners are supposed to be the best, the easiest, the quickest, whatever. Um, we'll see. We'll do a side by side. I'll have three clones. I'll have to take the clippings tonight. Um, and I'll record it and then that'll go in tomorrow's video um, because that'll be like real late by the time I get that film footage done. I had one more male in the grow room and I pulled it out uh, before it really developed so it's not that easy to see on the film what a male flower looks like. Um, but they look like coconuts. They're small. They're small like the size of a big grain of sand or a really tiny pebble. Um, but they'll have, they'll be more like coconuts. They'll have um, a stem that they're hanging with. So it'll be like a little stem and then the ball, like a coconut or a watermelon or something like that. The flowers, the buds, the female buds, which are, which are what I'm showing you, um, are the ones you're looking for. They've got the white hairs coming out. If there's no white hairs, it's a male, um, get rid of it. But that's after you start seeing buds. They're not going to have the, the flowers until they get into flower. So um, we'll cover that again. Again, you'll you'll know what the females are. You'll know what you're looking for. Um, and uh, maybe I will let one of the males grow out a little bit, but not right now, not with that grow. If this is a male, I'll let it grow out um, just so you can see what it is because it's separated from the rest of my grows. Uh, tomorrow's Christmas Eve, and I will post a video tomorrow. I probably will not post one on Christmas Day, but hey, you never know with me. Um, have a good Christmas if I don't see you. Don't forget to comment, subscribe, like the videos, tell your friends, share it. I'd like to be able to get um, you know, uh, more people watching it. The more I can get the word out, the more people that can watch it, the more people that can grow, the more we can change, um, change market forces and bring the price of uh, medical cannabis down to where it's affordable for people who are so sick they can't work, they can't afford it. Grow it yourself. One plant will last you a lifetime if you make and take clones. This is all you'll need if it's not an auto flower. Auto flower, uh, you got to start from seeds every time, but these will start from clones and wait. You'll see how many plants I'm able to get out of this thing. It'll be crazy. Um, if this turns out to, uh, what I'm planning on doing is I'm going to grow this out and then I'll take clones from it and I'll grow and I'll flower out the clones and keep this as a mother if it's a female. Um, if it is a female, this will wind up being my big plant outside. The Jack Hera that was um, the mother on this is an 80% sativa, and the White Widow that was the father is like an 80% indica. So this is going to be kind of cool, and I'm interested to see what it's going to produce and be like. I like the Jack Hera, and I like the Widow, so the cross of it should be really nice. Um, it's not a stable strain. It's the first time I did it. I did it as a goof. Um, I'm not claiming to be a breeder or anything like that, but I'm just having fun. Um, I'm sure the first poodle that got with a Labrador didn't know that they made a Labradoodle, but we got them now, right? So this is the first Labradoodle of my cannabis growing. Um, again, Merry Christmas. See you next time. Thanks for watching. Uh, as always, like, subscribe, and comment. Peace out, YouTube. Male plant. You can see here, I get a clear shot at some of these male flowers. And it's hard to see, but they're little dots instead of... Yeah, it's not going to be real clear. They're little dots instead of... Pistol, see this has got flowers? And this doesn't. Anyhow, when you find a male, this is how you deal with it. Without hesitation, get the snippers and get rid of it. Goodbye. End of story. No more bad now plant.